Hello everyone, Stuart from Stubu Gaming, looking at DLC 2 for Inquisitor Marta. Now, um, this hit without any warning whatsoever. It wasn't in the news feed on the front uh, start screen or anything. So, I'm just going to do a very brief overview. Um, so, straight into it. Uh, an unexpected incident occurred on the upper levels of the Habitat Spire when mercenaries inexplicably attacked a merchant guild. The armed militants are currently in the process of destroying the shrine of the Imperial Creed at the Trade Hall. The incident was flagged as a moderate threat by mind-linked Ordo Scryers after the assailants appeared to be possessed by unsanctioned malevolence. Contain the situation and uncover the motives behind the accident. Okay, sorry, incident. I can't read. So, my last video I did on one of these, I went into the entire thing and literally played the entire mission on screen. So, I actually lost most viewers after about five minutes. So, I will record the whole thing, but for my first look, I'm just going to do the beginning part and what the, the actual reward is. Now, it does say you get a special item for completing this. So let's have a look. Analysis of orbital pick feeds has detected a heretic tribe in an abandoned Imperial facility. The presence of demonic entities have been confirmed. Resources for a full-scale purgation are unavailable, so the order has opted for a surgical strike. Orders deploy and eliminate the moral threat. That's the same for every single mission, so I don't think that's got anything to do with it. So let's have a little bit, uh, a look a little bit further in. Unexpected incident occurred on the upper levels of the Habitat Spire Mercenary. Okay, we've already read that bit. The situation demands immediate countermeasures while your deployment is in progress. Choose a sacred rite of engagement. Use a ventilation system and release a tranquilizer agent into the area. Seal off the building to contain the situation. Have the Adeptus Arbiters move in with all haste and engage the attackers. Hmm. Now... I'm not going to show in this one the entire thing, but to me, sealing off the building, there's still going to be a lot of damage done to the building, and having the Adeptus Arbiters move in, which are basically the general police force, um, they are going to obviously start a big fight inside the area. Now to me, that's going to cause more collateral damage. If we knock them all out, that to me is going to have a better a better result. So those two at the bottom there, that I don't think that's a good one. So I am going to go with that top option. Now I'm going to jump forward. I'm going to play the whole thing, but I am going to jump forward to the very end, so um, you can see what the outcome is. Okay, so let's see what we've got. As you can see the high success level and moderate collateral damage will obviously get us some glory um, let's see exactly how much shall we so 43 glory with minus 24 so we get 19 that's not too bad I suppose we've got two relics so we've got relic main implant uh, level 60 that's quite good and a stun mine level 60 and the redeemer helmet so that's the special item that we've got for completing the um, priority assignment. Now to equip that, to equip that helmet, you go across to the extras area here, go down to helmet, and you can either turn your helmet off or put the helmet, redeemer helmet on. Let's see what it looks like. So we're going to inventory. And okay, it looks like a dead space helmet. <laughs> to me, that looks a bit like the helmet used by Isaac Clarke in Dead Space. Um, I'm not sure whether it's coloured that to match my armour by the colouring I've chosen. Um, because it's got the same yellow and goldish colour of the uh, accents on my armour. I'm not sure. I suppose we could... Uh, let's go to the Tech Priest and find out, shall we? So let's see whether we can change the colour by changing the appearance of my armour. So let's go to material. Oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. Let's go to materials. Change that material. Well, that's not changing its colour. 
So it's not that. That's not changing its colour, so it's not that. Oops. Oh, I'm having terrible trouble today. Right, maybe it is the skin. Nope, it's not that either. So, your helmet can't change colour. So, basically, you've got a bronze helmet with an, a yellow kind of uh, a light illuminating from its visor. So, okay. Um, that's it, I think. That's, um, that's it for this video. Well, guys, I hope you found that interesting and useful. Um, there are going to be two versions of this video, the full version um, and the short version. The sort of short version will be up first, and let me know in the comments if you do want the full version uploading. Um, so, please do that. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. Please click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload next. Leave a comment below. As I said, do you want to see the full version of this video? Um, if this is the full version you're watching, then what did you think? Um, are you interested in getting this DLC? Well, thanks for watching again, guys, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye for now.